Oh, Yuito. I would like to talk to you. Hmm? What's up, Sugumi? I think I finally found that flower. Look at this. Oh. It's called a silent snowmelt. It's a rare flower that only blooms at high altitudes. Is this the one you saw? Yeah, this is the one. That's incredible. I can't believe you found it with such little info. This flower's natural environment is different from Suo's climate, so it took some time to find. What does that mean? It blooms on cold high mountains, so the temperature in your garden is too high. Growing it would be difficult. Oh, I guess that's why they always wilted. No, it's amazing that the flowers bloomed at all. I would like to try growing them myself, but... Is there a problem? Oh, you did say it was a rare flower. Yes. You can't normally get seeds or sprouts. There isn't any data about its natural habitat either. There isn't any information about how to collect them yourself, or where to look. I'm stuck. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. If they were in my garden, that means they probably grow somewhere in New Himuka. I... I want to search for this flower. Honestly, I felt bad about leaving all the searching to you, so I looked into it a little myself. The gardener who planted this flower already passed away, so I haven't got a single clue where he got it. That's sad. I'm sure he was good at what he did. Yeah, he spent a lot of time and care to raise it in our garden. And I figured out why I remembered this flower in the first place. After my mom died, I was really sad for a very long time. The old gardener? He knew she liked those flowers, so he planted them for me. I see. So I'm glad I know their name at least. Thank you. But you haven't seen the actual flowers yet. It must be frustrating. Still, that's good enough for me. Thanks to your thorough research, I can look at pictures of the flower whenever I want. You want to see the real thing, don't you? I'll check some more. Huh? Oh, well... I'd like to see it if I can, but you don't have to go out of your way. I promised I would find it, so I don't want to give up. Okay. Thanks, Sugumi. And I'll help in any way I can. Okay. She was really excited. She can be pretty stubborn sometimes. I didn't know that about her. Although, the fact that she let me see her like that means she's starting to open up. That makes me kind of happy. Are there any... problems? Um, I think things are fine right now. If you need anything, just tell me. I want to help you. I may not be very useful, but I'm here for you. gotten to know you better too. We're the same.
How have you been feeling lately, Yuito? I'm feeling great. Thanks for asking. Of course. Make sure to rest when you need it. Part of being OSF is taking care of your body. See you around. Are you going to work out now? Yes, my daily routine. Would you like to join me? Light exercise is good for maintaining your health. You're right. Okay, I'll work out with you. Maybe you can make a training program for me. I would be happy to. I promise to make the program that best suits your body type and fighting style. Great, thanks. Ugh, I'm beat. I'm so thirsty. Do you want some water, Luca? <sighs> no, you should drink it. I have this. What is that? A special protein drink that I concocted. It's best to drink it within 45 minutes of exercising. I've never had one. Is it good? I made it strawberry flavored, so it's easy to drink. The intake of protein is essential for building muscle. Not only do you work out, you even worry about your nutrition. That's amazing. Protein is well known to people who like exercise. It's nothing to be surprised about. It's not just that. The program you just went through was pretty hard. You're really stoic about it. Why do you want to train so much? Well, because I'm small. When compared to those around me, I'm always at a strength disadvantage. So I want to do all I can to lessen that disadvantage. A strength disadvantage? But why does that matter? There's almost no one as good as you in a real fight. You're a Septentrion, and you have top-class strength when it comes to a fight with powers. I do not want to rely solely on my power. Why not? You have an amazing one. I don't see the problem in relying on it. Let me put it another way. Power is something you are born with. It cannot easily be changed. However, muscles are different. The harder you work, the stronger they become. Isn't that amazing? Huh. Um... I guess it does seem pretty amazing, maybe. Yes, you're beginning to understand. Also, my brother is always ahead of me. No matter how much praise I get, I can never equal him. That makes me want to work hard. I see. I definitely understand that. Thank you for saying so. What is it? Wait just a moment. This is... I've made adjustments to my daily routine to train my muscles. I have weights inside my clothes as well. You call them adjustments, but it sounds like torture to me. These extreme methods might be the secret to his strength. Will you put some weights in my clothes too? Of course. They are custom made to be removable. So I will put this here, and... There you are. Great. Now, I'll try to walk. Whoa! Oh, my body is swaying just from moving a little. <laughs> it's not very heavy, but it will be difficult until you are used to using your core. You can borrow them if you like. Now, I'll do another set. You can keep going? Yes, I still have a lot left to do. You can take a rest if you are tired. That's a Septentrion for you. I can't believe he always wears weights. But there's something kind of desperate about the way he's exercising. I feel like he's pushing himself too hard. Can he really handle it? I never expected you to be so odd, Yuito. Huh? Really? I thought I was pretty normal. What is normal in the OSF is not what most people call normal. It's very intriguing. I think I'm starting to understand. you a little better. Really? 
I'm so happy to hear you say that. So, you said you wanted to test this battle support program? Yeah, I want you to try it out. Is it safe? That's what the test is for. We don't have much time. Let's get started. I'm installing it now. Okay, it's installed. Try using your power. Power? Uh, okay. I can lift up this cup. <laughs> What's going on? I'm seeing noise. Calm down. It'll go back to normal once you stop consciously using your power. Oh, you're right. That really surprised me. Nice. It was a success. What is this program? When it detects power usage, it affects your visual senses to discourage its use. I call it the forced break program. What? Why did you make a pointless program like that? It's not pointless. If you apply various conditions to the program, you'll be able to restrict overworking. It's even more effective with an organization like the OSF where powers are necessary. Nobody can be working 24-7. In other words, I considerately made this program so people can use it as an excuse to rest. I still think it was pretty reckless to stick it in my head. Anyway, you can't fight now, which means you have to rest. Enjoy your free time. Well, I am pretty tired. Why don't you order something? Nothing like eating your favorite food into a food coma. Okay, then. <sighs> I guess I'll take a break. Although, I've got tons of problems I should be dealing with. I wish Nagi were here. <sighs> What's with all the sighing? Am I that boring? Oh, sorry. I didn't mean anything like that. There's just so much happening that I'm having a hard time relaxing. I don't know how to deal with it. It's easy. Just do whatever it feels like your body wants to. You know, like this. Just lean back. Ah, oh, that's so relaxing. You try. Wow, that's quite the position. I wish I saw you like this before I enlisted. What's that supposed to mean? Before I enlisted, I only knew you through the press. You were so friendly and lively. That's when I'm on the clock. This is me off the clock. If you don't know when to switch between the two, you're going to break down. I make sure to stay off the clock as long as I can so I don't break. I think you should do the same. Thanks for your concern, but I can't just... I see. I'm not trying to push anything on you. I apologize, but I learned a lot. Wait, did you uninstall the program? I'll try to tone down my advice from now on. Time to call it a day. She does it so she doesn't break. I guess that's one way to live. Although... That program is a little overkill.
Thank you for coming. I'm sorry about what happened in Mizuhagawa. You don't have to apologize. We both had our reasons, so no hard feelings. I'm glad to hear you say that. I really wanted to go easy on you. You were a lot stronger than I anticipated, so I couldn't afford to hold back. Did you get hurt? You don't need to worry so much. I wasn't hurt, and even if I was, I can give myself first aid. Wow, that's impressive. I've always studied all sorts of things, so I could do anything on my own. I see. I do remember you having a good head on your shoulders ever since you were little. Hmm? Since I was little? How do you know what I was like when I was little? Oh, I was just imagining it. I'm sure that's what you must have been like. Why is she so panicked all of a sudden? I suppose I shouldn't doubt her since she's just worried about me. Anyway, I'm totally fine and I can take care of myself. Really, it's okay. All right. I'm sorry I'm such a worrier. I'd just like you to make one last promise to me. Stay away from Togetsu. Togetsu? Why should I promise that? I can't tell you why, but something dangerous might happen to you if you go there. I can't make a promise without knowing why. You have a point. I'm so upset that I can't do anything about it. I don't know what you're hiding or what you're trying to say to me, but I can tell that you're worried, so thanks for looking out for me. Be careful, Yuito. You too. I should try to get a little rest. Mm -hmm. A message from Major General Fubuki? It's Fubuki. I want an update on your situation. Rendezvous where we met previously. I got a message from Major General Fubuki. Did everyone else get it too? I did. I did too. I think he's talking about the safe zone. He said he's under surveillance, so I am sure he just wanted to play it safe. But Major General Fubuki is with Spring Pharmaceuticals, right? Those ampules. Do you think he knows about that factory? It would be strange if he didn't. He might have a purpose for calling a meeting so soon afterwards. The fact that the OSF hospital prescribed the drugs must mean the government's getting products from that factory in some shape or form. Could Major General Fubuki be the go-between? Does that mean he's an enemy too? Even after everything he's done for us? Hmm. It could just be one of the ways he goes about pretending to obey the government. We can sit here and doubt his intentions all day, but we're better off just asking. You have a big heart, Yuito. Your trusting nature is one of your most likable features. I should really follow your example. It's because he's sincere. I think our skepticism might provide him a nice balance. <laughs> that might be true.
Sorry to call you out here. While I accepted Luca's generous invitation the last time, I feel it would be dangerous for me to frequent your hideout. There's a good chance the team surveilling me will notice. We appreciate your consideration. Wataru told me what happened in Ceyron. I've also given the government a report that won't affect our activities. What? Is that safe? Your family is spring pharmaceuticals. That's precisely why I did. Reporting my own family's wrongdoings only gets the government to trust me more. Besides, Karin and I were the first ones to propose that research facility. What? I think you already know about Alice. She's still being held in that facility as an other. We enticed Ceyron in order to protect her, knowing full well they would abuse their research. The results of which were the ampules and the uprising. We were fools. What's going on with this country? Ceyron may have incited an uprising, but there's still a new Himuka city just like ours. Suo's conducting human experiments, and Ceyron is basically doing the same thing. All of it being done to develop new weapons to fight the threat of the others. One chose to strengthen powers, and one explored a method to control the others themselves. What are others, anyway? I've heard they suddenly began appearing after the Spring of Extinction, but not much is known about them still. That's true. I guess the only other thing we know is that they're created in the Extinction Belt. Some are saying they're wild animals that experience sudden mutations, but are they really wild? It's very possible that the government is hiding what they actually are. That is the crux of it. Huh? Even the public can sense something different about the others. So, focusing on that point will nullify the government's personality rehabilitation efforts. Like exposing a government secret to every new Himuka citizen? Just like my brother did in the uprising. Exactly. Karan and I once plotted to send a video of a human at the moment of being metamorphosed straight to the minds of every citizen. But we couldn't find any definitive video to serve as our evidence, and I was hampered after they threatened Karin. So that's why you let the government turn you into a spy? Yes, but now they should have Nagi's data from when Naomi was metamorphosed for research purposes. They took his memory when they subjected him to personality rehabilitation. Now that you mention it, Nagi seemed like he had no idea about Naomi's metamorphosis after he was discharged from the hospital. But, but wouldn't that cause brain damage? Extracting a specific memory is a dangerous process, but that's hardly even a concern to them. You all have the same memory of her metamorphosis, but attempting to digitize and extract it is too risky. That's why we need Nagi's stored memory data. It's already been extracted. We can send the data via Arahabaki to every citizen as proof of the government's inhumane acts. The people are ready to hear it. Can you access it? Yes. I received permission to enter the secure site while you were heading out to Ceyron on your last assignment. I've been provided with a one-time use pass. Nagi's stolen memory. Where is it stored? I think they're storing it in the old OSF hospital you infiltrated before. I'm sorry for not having more concrete intel, but that facility was used to research powers. It's very likely it's there. Could you infiltrate the old hospital after the platoon has been reorganized? Reorganized? Uh, I forgot about that. I'm... I'm staying in Yuito platoon. This isn't... This isn't the world I want either. I see. So Hanabi is the only one that needs to be transferred. No, I'll stay too. Are you sure? Staying with us could mean being targeted by the government. Then we'll deal with it if it comes to that. After all the awful things we learned, I can't just sit here and do nothing while my friends are trying to do something about it. You don't care if it brings trouble to your family? No. And... I'm actually starting to suspect that it wasn't just my uncle who knew, but my father too. Thank you, Hanabi. Your help means a lot to me. I'll leave you to recover Nagi's memory from Naomi's metamorphosis. I'd like to go myself, but I don't want them revoking my access to Arahabaki, so I have to lay low for now. You've made a lot of waves, Yuito. 
You need to be careful. This will be your second time infiltrating the hospital. Yes, I will. By the way, I can send you some data to help you bypass the old hospital security system. I may not be as good as my sister, but I can still put together a program or two. Please use this to aid your infiltration. Thank you. Well, good luck. Thank <laughs> you.